In today's video, I'm going to be giving a thrifted lamp a French country makeover. In case you missed it, in my last video, I made over the lampshade for this lamp. So if you want to see how I did that, I will include a link to that video in the description box below. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my name is Amy and my channel is Creatively Expressive. Here on my channel, I share DIYs, thrift flips, budget decor, and all things creative. If you're new here, I would love it if you would become a part of my creative family by clicking that subscribe button below my video. Now without any further ado, let's get started. I found this lamp at Goodwill and I like the shape and the style of the lamp, but I wasn't crazy about the finish on it. So I bought it and I decided to give it a simple French country makeover. The first thing I need to do is give this lamp a good cleaning. Then I add masking tape to the cord where it meets up with the base of the lamp. Now I'm going to start by painting the lamp with the color Sandstone by Waverly. And I'm going to paint that color on very messy, adding the paint on in crisscross motions. I am also going to make sure that I leave some of that original lamp color showing. I want this to look like it's aged and like some of the paint is wearing off. And the cool thing about this technique is that it doesn't need to look perfect and you can be as messy as you want and that's always fun. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and adding some paint in between the ornate carved detailing. But again, I am not worried about getting full coverage. Now I'm using a third paintbrush that is bigger than the last one, but smaller than the first, to add another layer of that same paint color to the lamp in certain areas. This way the paint color is thinner in some spots and has more coverage in others. Now while the paint is still pretty fresh on the lamp, I am going to use a wet cloth to rub some of it away where I wish I hadn't gone so heavy with the paint. Now I'm going to be using the color Ivory by Waverly. I am going to be using a chip brush and I am going to brush that new color on the lamp making sure that I leave some of the color I just painted on exposed and also some of the original lamp color showing. So what I am doing here is a heavy dry brushing with this new color. And again, I am being messy with it and going in all different directions with my brush. Now I'm going to use a third color, the color Snow White by Waverly, to add a third layer of paint. I'm going to dry brush this third color on and I'm going to be a little less heavy handed with this color so that I can be sure that those previous layers are still showing. I want this lamp to look like it's old and like it has been painted several times over the years and that the layers are wearing away. So the lamp style to me looks French, and the aging adds that country cottage aspect to it. Now that I have all of my paint layers added, I'm going to go back in with a wet cloth and wet distress the lamp just a bit, rubbing a little bit more of the paint away. Now I'm going to use the color Cafe Noir chalk paint to paint the base of the lamp. First I'm going to use a small fine detail paintbrush to paint around the edge of the base. Then I will use a slightly larger brush to paint the rest of the base. I'm loving the way that this looks so far, but I wanted to add a bit more aging and dimension to the lamp. To do this, first I'm going to cover the entire lamp in a coat of clear finishing wax. 
I will brush the wax onto the lamp and then wipe off the excess with a paper towel. What the clear wax is going to do is provide a protective layer between my paint and the antique wax that I will be applying next. If I wanted the antique wax to really darken up my paint, then I would skip this step. But what I want for this lamp is for the antique wax to really just sink into all of those grooves and crevices, but not change the color of my paint too much. So after applying the clear wax and letting it dry, I start applying the antique wax with the brush. At first I used a paper towel to wipe off the excess, but I felt like it was changing the color of my paint too much. So then I grabbed my baby wipes and I started wiping off the excess wax with the wipe, making sure to leave the wax in the dips and the crevices on the lamp. And this is more of the look I was going for. As you can see, the antique wax just slightly darkens up my paint colors, adding some age but not changing the colors too much. And I will just continue to apply the antique wax to the lamp and wipe off the excess with a baby wipe so that the entire lamp has the same finish. When I get to the decorative ball portion of the lamp, I make sure to get the wax in between all of that ornate detailing. Once I have applied the antique wax to the entire lamp, this project is complete. Let me know what you guys think of this project. Do you like the paint layering? And do you like the added antique wax, or do you think it looked better before I added that? Please share your thoughts. Just a reminder, I have included a link to the lampshade makeover in the description box, so if you haven't already watched that one, be sure to check it out. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and that it was helpful to you. If you liked today's video, some easy and completely free ways to help support my channel and help it grow so that I can keep bringing you more ideas are to subscribe if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up, leave me a quick comment or even just an emoji, and share this video with anyone that you think might enjoy it. I truly appreciate your support and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!